Okay, I can't take any more, I must chime in on the YouTube watch collectors community. It is long overdue for someone to put the reel to the deal. I am going to start by discussing the Invicta brand right out of the gate, because it is the perfect brand to use to expose the very point that needs made. I am an avid collector of watches. I am a horological enthusiast in every sense of the word. I own and have experience with high-end, mid-tier, and entry-level timepieces of all sorts. I also have a master's degree in business administration, work successfully in the business arena, and possess a good working knowledge of marketing, sales, operations management and so on. I even published a book on the subject, just for the fun of it. I only mention it to impress the point that I am not speaking from an uneducated, inexperienced position. I'll dive in. Among the 30 or so watches in my personal collection, I have 5 Invicta watches. Over and over I see videos and hear other watch enthusiasts try to find and manufacture any reason they can to run down, discredit, and throw a bad light on the Invicta product. I will just say directly the only reason one would speak out against the Invicta product with so little factual reality to back it up, is either founded in sheer ignorance due to having no reasonable personal experience with an Invicta watch, or from complete jealousy of what Invicta is able to offer its fans over other so-called luxury brands. Anyone who has ever held an Invicta watch in their hands, worn it on their wrist, and done any investigation into the performance, reliability, accuracy, and longevity that an Invicta product offers, and then honestly believe they are experiencing a product of inferior quality to other brands charging 10 times what Invicta is selling for, they must be highly delusional, or intentionally deceptive. Let's track on that word deceptive for a bit. That's a word that you can take out of the mouths of many of the Invicta haters spouting off on YouTube lately. In particular the ones who continually badmouth Invicta leaning on manufacturing concepts instead of quality facts to imply it as an inferior product. I've heard many say they don't like the fact that Invicta puts MSRPs on their watches high above what they actually sell for because they find the practice deceptive. They haven't been able to figure out that the reason for this practice is for the exact opposite of being deceptive. This is Invicta showing their patrons that if they were to buy a product of the same quality from any of the other luxury brands, that is what they would be charged. Invicta is honest about what they charge for their product and that is what makes other brands and lovers of other brands so indignant. It makes it hard for them to justify and feel good about what they are charging and spending on similar quality. Invicta is able to offer far better prices because they take advantage of all modern techniques of manufacturing, producing the highest quality at the lowest price. This is what all other product manufacturers are doing in the modern world of business and what consumers have come to expect. I realize how this flies in the face of those trying to hold on to the traditional ways of watchmaking and those who like to believe they are a special breed of consumer but let's not go out on a limb to lie about another product's quality. Please note I am not discussing the style of Invicta watches. Anyone can honestly dislike the design and style of any particular watch, but quality can't be denied if it is right in front of you. If you see an MSRP of $1,200 on an Invicta watch, you can rest assured that it is of comparable quality to other watches manufactured by other brands listed at similar pricing. Sometimes the Invicta will even surpass the quality of other watches at similar MSRPs. Something else worth addressing is how people like to point out that the modern Invicta brand is not a real Swiss watch brand in order to discredit the product and its quality. They will then turn right around and celebrate the Rolex brand as a Swiss watch company they would gladly justify spending thousands upon thousands of dollars for. The fact is, Rolex was not founded by anyone remotely resembling a Swiss watchmaking family. Its very brand name is just a made-up name with no meaning or significance. Rolex didn't even produce their own in-house movements until the early 2000s. It was nothing more than a Frankenstein watch until then. I'm not saying Rolex is not a high-quality timepiece, I am just saying let's be real about the facts and not delude the truth about build quality with opinions founded in conceptual aspects of product origin to push an agenda. To each his own, but be legitimate at least. If you are one of those who hate Invicta watches, please do, but don't try and get away with hating them based on proclaiming they are of poor quality. It just makes you seem foolish to those who can think for themselves. When it comes down to it, the quality and legitimacy of a watch hinges on materials, accuracy, reliability, longevity, performance, quality control, and little else. Invicta excels in all categories like it or not. 
This can be said for some other brands who don't get proper assessment as well. Invicta and Rolex just made for an easy comparison for this effort due to Invicta's fame for being the hated brand by watch snobs and Rolex's non-Swiss origin. That's probably enough real being put to the deal for now. See you all later. Let him